right, guys. I'm not sure how long I'm going to stay on, but I thought I'd come on and color in some of my borders. I'm going to try to use the um, brush tip markers I was gifted. The, the reason I'm saying I'm going to try them is this paper is like newsprint. So, yeah. Let's see. Here's my wax paper to put between because I know it's going to go through. And I've got to turn it around so that I can color. Hey, Zoe, how are you today? We went out for hamburgers, and the hamburger was $8, and the side was like $8. So I got a side salad and, and one of the burgers, and I couldn't eat the burger. It was raw in the middle, and I like mine well done. And they didn't ask how you want it cooked or anything, so I just assumed it would come, you know, fully cooked. So if we go there again, I'm not going to get another hamburger. I will get uh, just that salad because the salad was amazing. But you can see how the marker kind of blobs out. That's why I said I was going to try this and see how it does. Because basically I, all I have to do is just touch the marker to the page and the color spreads out all over the place. So it's not really coloring in when all you have to do is dab and let it let it do its magic. And we went by um, where Scott's grandparents, his maternal grandparents house and the garage where his uncle and his cousin were murdered. We went by where that used to be today. And he said, I hope I've got the right place. It seems like the right place. But the, the steps to walk up into their house are still there, you know, from the sidewalk up to the yard. So he said it was kind of, kind of uh, creepy a little bit. But he wanted to do it. So that area has become part of the artsy area of Greenville. It's a lot different than, you know, back in the 70s when that all happened. And that's where we went to get the hamburger that didn't turn out to be very good at all. Hi, Janet. Hi, Beth. Hi, Sharon. So I'm just coloring these in. I thought it would be a way to spend, you know, a little bit of time. I'm going to come back and put little yellow centers in them. And the postcards went out and I got Colleen's um, prize package out, but I didn't get Lori's journal page out because I didn't do an envelope yet. I need to do that. We just kind of let the morning get away from us, and I didn't realize how close it was to when Scott needed to leave for work. So we were making a mad dash back to the house. And I got a coupon in the mail from Michael's today. Oh, thank you, Janet. And... Uh, forgot what I was saying. That's pretty bad. Oh, I got to do an envelope. Uh, but I did get the postcards off. So three of y'all be getting postcards. Uh, 
Uh oh. It just doesn't take much, and this paper just it's like sucks the ink up and spreads way out beyond the lines. And you know what I noticed when I was coloring these in is these first ones don't have any leaves. I'm just doing a whole row of pink flowers instead of mixing it up. So they're all they're all the same kind. Maybe they're just little wind flowers. Grecian wind flowers. Maybe. I'm going to get a fine tip marker. I can find one here. Let's see what we got here. No, that's that's what did the other. Let's see. This will work for leaves on these. We'll just do. I know Mary puts um, colors the backgrounds in with a highlighter. I'm just doing little wispy things. I didn't know I was going to have to add anything. I thought I'd just pop color on, but that's okay. Hey, Deborah Adams, how are you? We'll be down your way um, this weekend. Working on the house. And then I was talking to Scott at lunch that I might come down for the whole next week so that I can take care of Sally because um, Greg's not, he loves the cats, but he's not very observant always. And she'll have stitches, and I don't want her to, you know, rip them out or anything. And, you know, a, high, a hyperactive four-and-a-half-month-old kitten, is it's going to be hard to keep her under control. I almost need a, a crate that I can, that's big enough to put a litter box in that I could just trap her in there and just put food in with her till she gets healed up. I remember um, Piper was just really hyper when we got her done. Hi, Lisa. Oh, I got a Michael's coupon in the mail. Yeah. And it's got a 50% off coupon on it. I don't know when they start or anything. I just kind of set it aside because I was I wanted to get on here. And uh yeah, that came in the mail. So I'm thinking after I get these all colored, I'll go in and scan them and put them in the borders file and anybody can use them if they wanted to print them off, you know, to just have borders they could cut out. I, that's perfectly fine in the group. But yeah, that burger, ugh. I told Scott, I said, I better not get sick from that thing. I know some people like their meat rare, but no, I do not, ma'am. I probably should have said something, but that's just not my way. I just don't eat it and I'll send it back, you know, with them when they clean the table. And that's it. And then I'll just do Oh, 
Oh, I haven't watched Lisa's. You did another fabric journal one. I haven't had a chance to get to it yet. I will have to go watch that when I get off here. But I'm probably only going to stay on maybe an hour. And whatever I get colored, I get colored. I just wanted to color these. I did go back this morning while Scott was sleeping and I finished the borders that we were doing last night. See that pink went in I had left a little white spot to just add a little yellow in the middle and most of these it's just disappeared because the ink spread out these you can't hardly see anything but I did add color to them but that marker was just too fat I might just take this black marker and just go over my words Darken them up. This is the wavy words. Um, does anybody know if Barb Owen is going to do a live this week? Has anybody heard? I was listening to Mary and she said she wishes I would slow down so she could like complete and do color and everything my worry is that if I take too much time I won't have time to do everything I'd like to do but I can slow down and we can do the color and everything next week I think my main my main worry is that I take so long coloring like the envelopes and stuff like those pumpkins i felt like i was taking forever last night but i love how they turned out wait till you, the recipients see them of course i have my copy here is anybody going to go see that new joker movie or the remake of the shining with Jim Carrey. I keep Regal. I signed up on their app. And so now they're, every time there's a new movie, they send me, you know, information about when it's going to be playing and in the theater and that kind of stuff. It's almost becoming annoying, but I'm going to let it go. I think I'm going to color the circles in across there. talking about earthquakes
Hi, Samantha. Oh, you're listening while you crochet. I would like to, um, I started one of those long hats. Let me show you guys just real quick. I know you didn't tune in to see but do you remember in the 70s the long hats might have been late 60s but these hats that are really long that's what i started here and then it'll have a, a band at the bottom and this will be in a in a bag that if one of the nieces wants it that she can have it I keep thinking I'm going to get um, some of those styrofoam heads and then I slip the hats on there and take a picture. And then that way I can put the picture of what it looks like on the front of the plastic so I don't have to ha open the plastic. That burger is just not setting. It might be all in my head, but... Mm. Sorry, I'm dwelling on it. So it'll be done in time for this winter, Samantha. That's the best part. I started a corner to corner in greens and blues. I need to finish that too. That would be a good one to sit with and do. Um, Put, put YouTube on and just let it play. I bought some corduroy to make a corduroy teddy bear. I need to work on that too. I have so many projects in my mind. I need to just start working on them instead of talking about them. Make a list, check them off. use the other blue Everybody wants to see your afghan, Samantha. You can post it in my group if you want to, or in Beth's, or in both. She says, sure can do later. 
awesome sauce. Going quiet on you, sorry. So Samantha's working on an afghan. What's everybody else working on? Scott's been working on a piece of equipment that nobody else has been able to fix. And the units are just slammed full of dirt. And I said, well, do you think all the dirt is the problem why they don't stay running? He said, probably. But because it's got so much dirt and he has so many allergies, he said he's even had a, a vacuum over. So as he's blowing dirt out from the circuits, He's, you know, sucking it up with the vacuum cleaner and it's not helping. So, I don't know. Yeah, Beth, I saw you were on earlier, but I was watching Tanya. So I was like, well, I'll catch Beth later. Oh, dear, Deborah. When the buffer monster comes, I figure I have to um, re reboot. And if I don't have my Ethernet plugged in, it buffers like crazy. It doesn't matter what I do. So I just put the Ethernet cord and hope Scott doesn't fall over it because it runs from the little room out here. Hi, Kimberly557. I hadn't seen you in a while. How are you? And I got up at 7 thinking Mary would still be on, and she wasn't on, so she must have pulled the covers back over her head and went back to sleep this morning. I kept her up too late playing. But we had fun last night, and I love how my postcards turned out. 
I posted a picture on group, but not everybody's in group. I'll show you real quick here. Let me finish with the pink ones on this. See, I, that's why I love these brush tip markers when they're brand new. That tip just works great. When they start getting a little age on them, the tip goes. Let me show you the postcard. I finished it up and I um, put clear coat on it today. And I'm not going to show you the back because it's got the names of who I sent them to and I want them to be a surprise. So this is what we did last night. And the black gel pen did run just a little bit on a couple of them from where I was putting the clear coat. And I was applying it with my brayer and it still ran a little. But I still love how this turned out. So, yay. And there's Linda. Hi, Linda McAllister. Oh, gosh. But we had fun last night doing those and um, doing the borders that we did. And we just had a lot of fun. I'm just working on these wonky borders here. Wonky, crazy borders. Getting some color on them. I'm probably not going to worry about the backgrounds on them. Scott says he's over all the corporate buzzword business. He's He said he's over it. He's ready to not have to wor worry about buzzword bingo. Knowing the current buzzwords. He said it's the same thing he's been listening to for the last 30 years. Nothing new. Same thing over and over. He said, I know how to act. I know how to behave. I don't need lessons every week. So I just want to do my job without all these meetings about appropriate behavior and this, that, and the other. I say, well, some people need the reminder, I guess. So there's that. I think I'll go over this one just with a black marker that works good. This was our first borders that we did. When did we start doing this? I don't think I dated this one. It's been several, several months. And I have borders in here that I did with Mary as well. I've got some empty spots on those pages that I need to fill in. I was using a marker, I think, that was getting dry because this is kind of, it looks like it's um, broken line. I'm just going to use this green, color these leaves in, and then I'm going to say this page is colored. And we'll switch to the next borders that we did. I'd love to get some of those Crayola super tips that Dee Dee uses because I bet those would be really good for these borders. I might take my coupon to Michael's depending on when it's good. Of course, if Crayola is on sale, they won't let me use the coupon. And when they put Crayola on sale, it's they put it on one of those sales that I think is ridiculous. They might as well just not even have it on sale where they you buy one, you get one 50% off. That is 25% off is all, and that drives me crazy. That's not a real sale. 
40% off and more is a real sale. Don't even bother with old silly 25%. It's not worth the, the gas to get there. Aren't I awful? This one's easy to color in. Oh, see, some of these, it's like, why didn't you color those in when you were doing them? Might start just coloring them in each week. That would make Mary happy, too. She, when she does them, she likes to have them all colored in so she can see she's done. All right, so there's week one. And I'll take my... Look at the back, how those markers bleed through this cheapy paper. This was um, paper that I got at the thrift store for $1.89 for the um, pack. So here's this one. These are supposed to be candies up here. Uh-oh, that's too bad. That candy got melted and then stiffened back up, I think. <laughs> it does take time, and that's why I usually don't do it during the lives, because... The coloring takes more than the drawing. And I would rather move on and get a lot more done and share more each night. But we might do some each way. And this one's supposed to be great purple. But when you use it, it's pink. And that drives me crazy. I need to write. Oh, this one's actually not. That's wired. This one's actually great. I wonder if, I don't know Kendra said, did Kendra say that she also had a batch of markers that when you took the cap off, it was pink when you did it? I think it was Kendra said she got one that did it too. In my old set, this would be pink. It looked exactly like this but it had this cap on it so i'm thinking they got the wrong nibs or something in them that needs more color toward the edge and then i'm going to use the blue and just do a little bit of blue highlights here and there to make it look like the wrapper on these I think I still got something to do here. That one I still need to do. I was trying to do, you know, the little cellophane wrappers on these. That's why they look kind of weird. But I tried. So I've got one more candy. Grapes sound good. They're kind of high right now.
I might go over to the Aldi's. It's a little farther from the house in a little bit and see what they've got over there. Um, let's see. No, I don't want to do that. Let's do this one. It's nine o'clock in the evening by Linda. That one you can't even see the spiral. I used too close a, um, colors in the color family. Give that one cinnamon or strawberry. Yeah, I just, I, I thought about using the green, but I didn't want it to look like Christmas candy. It'll be Christmas soon enough, and we'll be doing all borders all Christmassy. We'll save the red and green combination for Christmas time. Laura's at uh, Jersey Crafters got me wanting to go to Michael's. It's all her fault. They were putting Tim Holtz stuff on clearance. And I thought, ooh, I'd like to go check that out. Darn enabler. Anyway. <laughs> it's all Laura's fault. Like she got the little journal kit that he has. And I think she only paid like two ninety seven for it or something like that. Hi Laura. My barbed wire fence. I should have made it more um wavy. And I think on this particular paper, I like doing the borders now that I know what how it spreads. I really like to do the drawing part of it with just like an ink pen. Because markers, the, the like markers, the pen like the pen plus gear one that I just threw in my box, they bleed out too much on this particular paper. So I'm better off using just a regular ballpoint pen. All right. Now we're back to the leaves. You know what? Let's do that. I love variegated leaves on things. That one, I my hand must have gone to sleep because that's some weird looking leaf veins. On this next one, should I just leave it black and white stripes like this, or should I put a color in between them? This is too fat. Let's see what this is. Really? 
we go. That looks a little better. Yeah. It's been a while since I had to deal with barbed wire. My greatest fear about barbed wire when I was a kid was going under it in, with a, in the toboggan. I don't know if many people know what a toboggan is. So today it is Thursday. So Vicky will be on painting, I think. I think it's 4.30 4 her time. So 5.30 my time. But I was thinking I'd like to get out of the house some today. And do something on my own instead of waiting just for Scott to go with me all the time. Just gotten in the bad habit of just waiting until he can go with me. I used to go everywhere by myself. I drove to New York by myself. I used to travel all over North Carolina doing store resets with Joann's and all kinds of stuff. I returned home and just been sitting around. keep thinking I'll go get me a little part-time job, but then I think, uh, I don't know. Well, where we would ride the toboggan down down from the house down to the pasture, there was a fence line. And if you didn't get it stopped in time, you'd go right under it. And sometimes the snow would be just deep enough to where your face would catch it, which that was not fun. And we were kids, so we were ridiculously stupid. My favorite thing in the snow is a flying saucer. I loved my flying saucer, man. I would play on that on just a little hill all day long if my grandmother would let me. She'd say, you're going to catch your death. You need to come in and warm up. But you had to get it. You had to get your... um your flying saucer path packed in good so you'd fly really fast down. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the flying saucer. I bet it went in one of the dumpsters when that man bought the property and was turning it into a bed and breakfast for hunters. Which I always said that would be a really good thing to do and get those people from New York City to pay a premium price to stay in your bed and breakfast out there in the boonies where it's so hard to make money. Just so they could come and go hunt. I'll be done with these and I'll look at chat here real quick. I think I'm going to leave this stripe just black and white. It's not really white, white, but it's a black and white stripe.
Laura's working on fabric for an altered composition book. Oh, I know barbed wire can be a real headache if you get your clothes involved. Ellen Scott, I was watching the young man that does the lawns across the street. We just do our own lawn. Um, and I told Scott, I said, the problem that kid has is why is it, why it takes him so long is he has no fluidity of motion. It's all choppy, choppy, choppy. I said, if he would be more fluid in his motion and do things in a way that he wasn't wasting steps, he would save himself so much time and energy. He must have stopped and started that riding lawnmower six times for that tiny little yard over there. And I'm like, wow, I do it once. Go do everything I had to do with that riding lawnmower and be done with it. And the yard isn't even really big enough. He was over there from like 8.30 in the morning till 11.30 on that one tiny yard. And he had a riding lawnmower, a push mower, a weed eater, a blower. He, I don't think he once touched a rake. I was like, wow. I guess everybody does things differently. Hi, Nettie. Just doing a little quick live to get my borders done here colored in skip to do one These look like those candles you get at the grocery store for birthday parties, don't they? Nettie says hi to everybody. Don't want to miss anybody. Uh-oh, I messed up. Oh, it's okay. I'll know it's there. Nobody else will. Which candle is out of place? So we got to grab the blue and go back and do this one because I missed a... I, Missed the correct one there. Good enough. And these were supposed to be um, grapes. And the grape leaves did not go well. This tip is weird on this pen. That's okay. I've got weird leaves on this grapevine.
Sorry, I hit my own mute button again. Sorry. And um, for anybody that gets upset if somebody doesn't recognize you or acknowledge you, it's it's hard to do the chat and do the art. So I'm sorry if I missed anybody. I try very hard not to, but. It does happen. Let's see, I'm only putting a little dot of color because of this paper. It just wicks out on it. I guess we'll end up with all of the cats if Greg goes back in the Navy. So I'll have basically seven cats. Oh, good grief. Because I know he can't have them on, on base. So he did feed a little cat on base when he was out in at Shepherd's Air Force Base. In Texas. Those leaves where the, the black marker got all fat on me, those could have almost been more grapes. But they're supposed to be leaves. These leaves look better on this end. All right, so there's that page, and it's 325. Been on here almost two hours already. No, an hour, an hour. The backs always look so cool. That's the back of it. All right. Some of these do have color. Let's see, the little mushroom buttons. These are supposed to be shank buttons. know what made me add those but they're kind of cute I'll just color a couple of these other buttons the red so the red is kind of carried out across the page and these were Janet's idea I 
and you could always go in and, and add more to these if you wanted to add highlights and um, little doodle marks and things like that. That is entirely up to you. They're your borders. Make them as you will. I just thought it would be fun to come up with borders that you could have like a whole book of them. And if you got stuck for a border, just randomly open your book and close your eyes and point to one. That would be the border you could do. Or we could number them and do a game with them sometime, maybe. Pick a number, look that, look that border up. That's the border we could use on the page. All kinds of ways to use your use your old art new ways. Make copies, cut them out, use them that way. Whew. I'm having issues with my white Poscas. I thought I had another one, but. I'll just use this gel pen to color the dots in on here. It works. Just so they look real white. Because this paper is not a real white colored paper. It's almost cream. But see, I've got this white pen out. We could just do a little highlight area on the button, maybe like that. little squiggly line around maybe around the buttonholes just to add just a tiny little bit of white here and there sketchy line around that one's just got two holes on it You notice that with the gel pens, they get like this, I guess I would call it a booger on the end. of. <laughs> you have to clean it off every once in a while. Hi, Roinsta. I'm so tickled to see you guys over in the Netherlands. I always miss you because I come on later. That's why I, th I thought if I popped on and did a few afternoons, I'd come on earlier in the day, but I try to keep the mornings for time with Scott. So I hope y'all don't mind if he gets a, a daytime job somewhere that could all change. But so far he's, he's hanging in where he is. I think he's overall, he's just ready to retire. He's been working for almost 40 years now. No, he's been working longer than that. He's been in the workforce for probably about 42 or 43 years. And he's, he's just reached that point where he's, he's ready to be done. My button box you'd be hard pressed to find two buttons that were the same size and the right color <laughs> these 
buttonholes aren't very even either. These must be the discarded buttons from the button factory. Fun fact, my mom worked in a button factory back in the 60s, and she would bring faulty buttons, and I would sit and sort them and string them and all kinds of stuff. Oh, here I tried to put four holes in a little button. That must be for a baby sweater. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one. Thank you. These are borders I do on um, Wednesday nights. When I do my lives on Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock U.S. Eastern Time which I think is like y'all's one o'clock in the morning crazy time. It's almost meditative, and I go into like a trance here. <laughs> That's not good. I'm supposed to be entertaining the crowd. I watch Arne and Carlos, and they've got a couple videos that I haven't watched yet. I need to watch them this afternoon. I think they're on tour again, but I don't know where. But they are designers and they design knit and crochet patterns and they they did clothing in the past. And they have a beautiful garden on a shoreline that is absolutely beautiful. I could just sit out there and watch the boats and stuff. Ruesta's been to West Africa. The little sketchy white line adds a little bit more dimension to the edge. You wouldn't think something like that would change the appearance so much. I'm going to sign off at 4 o'clock, okay? That's... Um, 25 minutes from now. So I'll go as, as long as that and then I'll stop. Because all I'm doing is coloring in things. I'm barely touching the pen down so whatever ink just kind of trails along that's what gets left behind. And maybe I'll slip off to I might run down to Hobby Lobby. That little place we went to that I got the raw hamburger ugh, um, is in the arts community. And they had hanging from the ceiling, they had um, 
macrame um, plant holders. And I thought how fun it would be to make macrame again. I did it in high school, but it's been that long since I've done that. I don't know if my son's thought about it, but if he gets back in the Navy, he's going to have to shave that beard off. She can't have a beard. That's something his grandma's always on me about, Scott's mom. Gregory would look so much more handsome and younger if he just shaved that beard off. Can't you get him to shave that beard off? Yes. Like Julia, he's 33 years old. I think he can decide on his own what he wants on his face. But bless her heart, she said he, she's just looking out for him, and I know she is. But I also know my kid, and he ain't going to shave it off until he's ready to shave it off. We kind of raised him to have a mind of his own. This was Janet's idea, and I think it was, I can't remember what the prompt was, or the idea. I think it was just uh, a scalloped edge, maybe? Or, um, I can't remember what Janet called it. Janet, what did you call this? Oh, I can't remember. But a scalloped border is what I'm thinking. And what I think I'm going to do, instead of coloring on my own the rest of them, I might just come on and do like an hour on some other days and just color with y'all. So if you wanted to wait and color your borders, we'll have color days. Color days? Bring your crayons, more color. I was sitting here thinking, I wish I'd drawn these nice and even, but I'm sure we were going quickly. I was kind of wishing I had like a peach color so I could make it just look like foreheads along here. It's, it's a yellow man with red hair. There's a whole line of them right here. <laughs> All right, the chat's moving again, so I need to look and see what you guys are chit-chatting about. I think Wista and Janet, not Janet, but Linda, were talking about South Africa. Samantha, um, I, I think you friended me, and I think I just, I have to add you, because I've got it set to private right now, so I would have to invite you. But I think you friended me on Facebook. If not, I'll try to find you and then add you. 
red hearts. And I know I'm not done up on there, but I might as well do these red hearts while I got the red out. Whoops. There I go, off in the zone again. Whoop. Plus, I'm going to need to go get Bernadette out of the out of the yard because it is still hot here. As so we're sitting at 97 degrees, I bet it feels like 104 out there, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. It's horrible. You can't hardly breathe. And they're saying 40% chance of rain maybe next Monday. And we haven't had r real rain in just weeks and weeks and weeks. And that, you know, there in the spring, we were just getting so much rain, just so much. And now nothing. Everything's so dry. We haven't had a frost, so the leaves aren't really getting real pretty. They're just getting brown and falling off. get to watch me color and listen to my air conditioner I guess October and I'm still running the air conditioner usually we have at least some time where it's like in the 70s and 80s it, during the day and you can open the windows and you don't have to listen to air conditioning and you can hear planes go over and birds out in the yard but no not this year man we're going to use AC until the heat needs to come on. I told Scott the other day, I said, I, I bet it's going to go from like these 100 degree days to like zero. Just like boom overnight. Wow, Lisa, really? Oh, if you could send some up over the mountains, I'd love it. Really, truly, I would.
right, so I'm going to just show what I've done today. I don't know what I did with the lid to this. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to keep my, my new markers pristine for as long as possible. That won't take long to, you know, get them used down. And I'll show you the ones I've already colored. I got up like a weirdo at 7 o'clock this morning. And, you know, we don't go to bed till 1.30, 2 o'clock. So I've had like five hours of sleep. And it, I'm dragging all of a sudden. So there's one. I'll finish these the next time we come on and do a color play day. Maybe um, Thursday seems like a good day to do color at 2.30. So I might set it up to where I do my Wednesday night live and then on Thursdays I'll come on at 2.30 and color for an hour or so and um, till I get all of my borders colored. So let's look back at these other colored ones. And then this is the first one we did. Create every day to be happy. Be a happy soul. So I'll just flip through. These are the ones we've colored. Isn't it funny how this page ended up upside down compared to the others? And then, like I said, we have been working on these for quite some time. Now see, these have flipped back this way. So let's turn these. These doors are my favorite, I think, so far. The doorways as a border, I think, is an just so cute and I like the needles those were good and the late I just I like them all but I think the doors are my favorite these look like pepper shakers but they're not they're supposed to be hot air balloons so yeah they, they didn't turn out too hot and then these are our owls and feathers and seashells and my weird squirrels teapots, mice, ferns, and snails. These snails here, I came back and did on my own real slow like, and they turned out so good. I love those. Doorways are just fun to do. And then everybody wanted me to do the mice and everything a little bit larger. So here's the mouse, a feather, a snail, a shell, one of my weird squirrels, and the owl that I decided to do. And I love him. I would love to do him larger. And then the next week we did these. And this was supposed to be um, Mina um, Lost in Space. But I just did the robots and then bears. And this is supposed to be the fence you see on the sea, ocean sea line. Dune fence. That's what that's supposed to be. This is supposed to be a sea turtle. That one I messed up. Paint brushes. Music notes. Our dot alphabet. I need to come up with another alphabet to share with you guys. Jelly beans. And this was one I did with Mary. And Mary did the top three. And then I went looking for Art Deco and did this one on my own so that I would have a full page because I wasn't sure if Mary was going to do, you know, three, four, six, eight, whatever. I didn't know how many borders she was going to do. So I did the four on this page. I've got a couple more that I need to add some from the same kind of theme. So River City Deborah said fire hydrants. So I got a fire hose running from one fire hydrant to the next with her name on it. And then acorns, apples, ABCs and one, two, threes. These are paint cans. And I like the idea of putting um, drips of paint down a little bit on one side of them. These are the bubble letters pencils, and an inchworm. I need to go get Bernadette. Let me flip through these real quick. Oh, and everybody wanted to see the 1970s calling again, and, and we did uh, bubble letters, large ones. Remember those? 
and picnic baskets, fire uh, fireworks, ants, just leaves, the American flag, watermelon, hot dogs, and ice cream cones. I love how the ice cream cones turned out. Those look really good. And then we did old timey telephones, a stapler. This was weather, so you got sunny, partly cloudy, rainy, snow, cloudy, a storm, and then wind. And then we got school buses, a tape dispenser. This is supposed to be hoodies. I guess it looks like hoodies. Hi, Kathy. Um, the old timey desk lamps, those were fun to do. And then the cars. And then for some reason, I did these borders with Mary on the wrong side of the paper. So these are Mary borders from one week. And see, I need to do two more to fill the page up. This was from 9-11 with Mary. And then these, of course, I didn't date it. And this one, I finally, I said, ugh, because I, I was having so much trouble seeing it. But it looked pretty close to what Mary was doing. And when I look at things, I see things slightly different than Mary sees them. So I can't remember how she drew those, but I saw this kind of, it looked almost like bones to me. So that's how I did those. This is my favorite up here, this. And then it got too at and my marker started bleeding and I was sitting in the recliner and I was like stop start the next one <laughs> and um, then because Mary was only going to do one more I had two lines here but I just drew the pumpkins bigger bye Ruista and then these are last night lunch boxes paper clips penguins balls of yarn leaves blowing in the wind sugar skulls which you see they got kind of weird this morning <laughs> and gourds and i liked how mary put some leaves so i copied her and added some leaves in amongst mine and then umbrellas and then we're ready for next week and i already said last night what we're going to do next week so it's five till i'm going to go ahead and sign off and thank you guys for stopping in and coloring with me i don't know if anybody colored with me or you just watched but that's fine so everybody that needs to go to sleep go to sleep and i'll see some of you um later on i'm sure bye